This is Brett Waltamath of Starwatch Media here at the Los Angeles premiere of the romantic comedy, Margarine Wars. Um, yeah, the upcoming documentary, uh, originally titled Life After Porn. Yes. Can you please tell us a little bit about the project and your inspiration behind the project? Um, okay, well, it was, I didn't come up with the idea for the documentary, um, When Porn Ends. I'm actually just, you know, in it. Um, I had met the director when I was out and about, you know, at a party, and he approached me about appearing in it, and I thought it was a really cool concept, because a lot of times with the adult industry, a lot of the girls that are, were, you know, porn stars, after their porn career ends, a lot of fans have always wondered, well, what happened to this girl? What happened to this girl? You know, you don't hear much about a lot of them. So I, you know, I think it's been very interesting to see, I think it's 10 different girls they followed and found out what they're up to and I'm actually excited because there's some girls that are in it that I was fans of before I got in the business so I'm excited to see what they've been up to because I, I don't know and um, yeah that comes out May 5th so I'm very excited for it. Being part of the documentary what would you really like to see the audience take away from from the film? You know, I think the biggest thing is you know I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about the adult industry a lot of people because girls are having sex on camera, they, they think of the girls as sex objects and not as real people, you know, as people who have feelings, who are normal, everyday people with families or some of them with kids, you know. And so I'm hoping that when people, the biggest thing when I did Celebrity Rehab, I think, is that people got to see a whole different side of me, you know. I didn't really have female fans before Celebrity Rehab, and then all of a sudden women would come up to me. So I'm hoping when people see the documentary, they're going to, you know, have a different opinion of porn stars and of you know, the women in the adult industry, and I'm, I guess there's actually some men in the documentary, and the men in the adult industry, so. Over, <laughs> overall on Celebrity Rehab, did you have a very positive experience on the show? Oh, I'd say Celebrity Rehab was definitely positive. Um, it changed my life and it saved my life. Um, I mean, it was the greatest thing for me. I mean, number one, I, I needed help with getting off Xanax, and um, Dr. Drew did that. And number two, I thought it was a great way to get more mainstream for me. So it, was, it did two things. It was good for my career and very good. I mean, it saved my life. I don't know what would have happened if I didn't get, you know, if I didn't go to rehab. What would be your, your best piece of advice for other people that struggle with Xanax addiction? Um, you know, the Xanax addiction, I think the biggest thing is so many people don't realize that because it's a prescription drug, you don't think there's anything wrong with it. You know, you think, and I was just taking it to sleep at night. I wasn't taking it during the day. I started off taking a quarter of, you know, of a Xanax for to sleep at night, and I ended up taking two, three of them to sleep at night after drinking, and I just need more and more to sleep. It's highly addictive, and there's lots of non-addictive sleep aids you can get. You know, I take non-addictive stuff that Dr. Drew has given me, it's not narcotic, you know. So I think the biggest thing is, you know, people just need to, um, I don't know, be careful. Prescription drugs are, are bad, and I think that if you're on, you know, if you're taking any prescriptions, you should look into them and see if it is an addictive one. And if it if it is addict, you know, addictive one, go to a doctor and have them put you on a new one. <laughs> Other upcoming projects for you? I'm working on autobiography. Yeah, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be, I've read a lot of the other porn star biographies and other girls' books, and I'm hoping to have a book career like Katie Price over in England. I think it's great. She, I just finished Katie's fourth autobiography, and I mean, I think it's amazing how she started off as a Jordan, a like topless model, and then has become, you know, an author. I mean, she's gone on to do children's books and created so many, you know, different, I mean, she has equestrian clothes now and lingerie and so I'm hoping that you know my book will, I just want to have a lot of books like she did you know and I think in my book I think it'll be more honest you know I thought it's funny when she talks about going out with all these different guys and hooking up with them she always says she just kissed and cuddled with them for like a month and I'm a little more honest I admit that we have sex the first night sometimes you know <laughs> so we're here for the premiere of the of Margarine Wars how's it feel to be here and be supporting this evening you know what, I love to, uh, to support uh, smaller independent movies because I've, I've been in a couple of those. And I love movies that take place in like the 60s and stuff. I love that time period. I wish we could actually go back to the 60s. So I, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. I saw the trailer and it looked really funny. And um, so, I don't know, I'm looking forward to it. Were you aware before seeing the trailer that margarine at one time in the United States was illegal in some states? You know, I did not know that margarine was ever illegal. That is pretty crazy to me, you know, that you can get arrested for, like, smuggling margarine. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> okay, that's one thing that I'm glad I'm not in the 60s for. <laughs> but Although I just use, like, zero-calorie spray butter, so I'd be okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for the time, and enjoy the screening. Thank you. Thank you.